Hi, I'm Anita. I'm a digital strategist and educator. I help non-techie entrepreneurs build their businesses online quickly and with ease, even if they are total beginners. I do this here on my YouTube channel and inside my online course. I've been working on my laptop for the last six years and I'm a busy mum of four teenagers and three fur babies. On my channel, you'll find tech tutorials on how to generate leads from social media and tips on growing your online business. In this video, we're gonna go through three things. The first one is to introduce StreamYard to you. The second is to actually connect the social platforms you would like to live stream into. And the third one is actually how to schedule a live stream into your social platform of choice. So without further ado, let's get to simplifying tech and building our business online. So in StreamYard, we are going to be looking at number one, how to actually set up your account, how to link all of your apps together, how to schedule broadcast, and then also how to set up the broadcast ready for you to go live. We're going to look at how you can fix your destinations inside your StreamYard. So every time you come in to plan or go live, your destinations will be in there waiting for you. So the best way to do that, again, is to jump into the dashboard and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so normally we're in the broadcast area and to set your destinations, you just have to go to where it says destination. So I'm just gonna remove this one so that I can reset this one for you. So let me just remove that one. Okay, so I'm going to add a new destination to my account. So I'm gonna click add a destination. Then it's gonna ask you where you would like the destination to be. So Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, Restream, and custom RTMP. Periscope is Twitter. Twitch is another social platform. Restream and custom RTMP are as if you are using a third party streaming app, so you don't need to worry about those. So let's go for Facebook page. So it's going to ask you to connect. Then it's gonna ask you which page you would like to connect. So I'm gonna just go for this one. And you're all set. Now, obviously I was already logged into my Facebook. If you're not logged into your Facebook, then you just have to go through the process. It will say log in, pop your email address, your password, and then it will ask you to select the page that you want to have on here. And that's as simple as that, to so setting up your destinations. Now, when you go to create a broadcast, your destination will be there ready and waiting for you to either go live with straight away or to schedule a broadcast. We're going to look at how to schedule a broadcast using StreamYard, either to your Facebook page or to your group or to both. So depending on the level that you have, I have the level which allows me to stream to two places in one go. You can obviously get the high level, but I think that the audiences on different platforms are slightly different. So I personally think that it's better that you don't multi-stream across lots of different platforms in one go because your audiences may well be different and you want to make sure that your videos are speaking to that right audience. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you and we're gonna jump straight in. So hopefully you'll be familiar with this area already from the previous videos. We'd have already gone over the destination settings. So what we're going to be doing in this video is looking at how to create a broadcast. So when you click create a broadcast, you get given some choices. The first choice would be, this is what you see. So when you hover over the destination, you'll see what they're called. So it's quite easy to see, especially if you've got the same sort of profile picture on a couple of platforms. So I'm going to set this one to my business page by clicking it. And as you can see, it allows me to put the title and the description. You can have it to your group as well, or you could have it to YouTube as well, depending on what you want to achieve. You then, if you have two, you can customize the title and description for each platform so that they're slightly different if you're talking to a slightly different audience. Obviously your page, 
is a slightly colder audience because you're you you're hoping that people will come back to your page to watch your videos but you're also talking to a colder audience whereas your group is somewhere where you know the audience you've got people coming in because they are, are having an interest in what you're offering in the group so they're slightly warmer so your description and your caption may want to be a little bit different for each area so you can decide how to do that to do that you just click on the one that you want to edit and then you write it in so here i'm going to be doing week two day four and then in the description we'll just look at today we are okay so then what i'll do is i'll click outside that so that holds that and i want to schedule that for later as well but i'm going to schedule them both at the same time so i'm going to click this one and on here i'm going to put join me challenge and then because this is a warmer audience and they know a little bit more about me it's like um why not jump over to watch okay so now here in the group settings it says add comment instructions to your post because inside the group streamyard will tell your group members that they have to authorize the streamyard app not in their own group but just so that they can see themselves so here it says add a short explanation at the bottom of your post about the group comments issue informs viewers how to grant access so you can see their comments turn this off if you plan to inform viewers in your own way so you can either use streamyard to do it or you can actually say it if you leave that on it just says um for your comments to be seen click here and they just basically say yes it's okay that means that when they comment on your video whilst you're inside your video they will um you will see who it is and they'll have their profile picture you don't need to do that in your page because your page is open to the public so that's the difference between obviously a group and a page so we've done the updates for these two as you can see now we both we want to schedule them for later so i'm going to click schedule for later you can upload a thumbnail if you want to i'm not going to at the moment but you can upload one and that's a standard 16 by 9 so 1280 pixels by 720 pixels i'm not going to if you don't do if you don't upload your thumbnail what it does is it pulls your picture from your page to, into there and then on this one i'm also going to schedule for later and again you can upload a thumbnail so both of them are going to be at the same time at 12 30 pm and then you click create broadcast so now what i've done is i've actually scheduled a live to go into my group and my page at the same time so as you can see both of them are here both of them are ready to go and they are ready to schedule so that's how you schedule your broadcast ready to go live later on on your page and don't forget to catch the next video in this series which is all around what happens inside the StreamYard editor before you go live which means that you can add your own brand you can add your logos and you can add you can even add some pre-ready questions to pop up on the screen whilst you're live inside the editor